Hello, this is Sandman 99, and uh, welcome to Sanctuary. Here, with Chef Perry again, who is going to uh, help me to demonstrate or, or at least introduce a new mod that has just been completed by myself and Recvi5x, called Sandman's Alchemy. And uh, in Sandman's Alchemy, you can make potions. And of course, you can make them at the chemistry station. However, you can't just walk up to any chemistry station at any time and make potions. The uh, uh, category just doesn't appear. Instead, what you need to do is you need to read an entry off of a holotape. And it seems that a certain uh, chem dealer back before the bombs had an old book it locked away in a safe. And then later when he uh, died and disappeared during the war, and 200 years later, a fellow named Scaver Phil happened to be exploring Sanctuary looking for uh, salvage, and he left a journal behind. And of course, Scaver Phil's journal can be played on the Pip-Boy or on a terminal. And there are a number of entries, which we will not get into too much, but if you read the entry under Alchemy Recipes, it says you have learned the secrets of alchemy. And now, if we go back to the chemistry bench, And have a look. There is the alchemy recipes. And there are many items that you can make that do different things, of course. Not going to get into each and every one, but you can do things like uh, make a couple of the uh, typical drugs that did not up to this point have crafting recipes, uh, such as buff out and day tripper particularly. You can also make uh, potions that will fortify certain character attributes or protect you from certain types of attacks for a short period of time. Okay, and uh, an, or fortify certain special attributes for a short period of time. Um, you know, there's also some grenade type items in here too. And so, for a new beginning character, you just wander into the old chem dealer's house here and you find the hollow tape. However, for those who uh, have already been playing the game for a while and they may not necessarily be in Sanctuary, and they may not actually um, be anywhere near Sanctuary at the time when they first installed this mod. I came up with a little bit of a cheat for this. And uh, we'll kind of get into that now. Because if you look under Utility section, Chemistry Workbench, well, you can actually make a holotape. Scaver Phil's journal it requires one plastic. And reading the entry on that will do the same thing. It will open up the recipes for alchemy in the chemistry workbench. Hello, this is Sandman 99. And I'm Rec V5. Yes, and Rec V5 has agreed to help me to demonstrate a little bit of a mod that I'm currently working on called Sandman's Alchemy. And the idea of this is that I wanted to create a bunch of recipes for potions. Mm -hmm. And one of the potions that I've created a recipe for is a potion of armor, which increases your damage resistance for a few minutes. Nice. In the game. 
It's a temporary effect, and you do need some perks in uh, Chemist in order to make this, as well as a number of ingredients, specific yep. ingredients. But anyway, just to demonstrate it, I'm going to step out here, and I'm going to let this raider shoot me right now without the potion. Uh, my character, by the way, Jeff Perry here. <laughs> Uh, I, I didn't, I don't have the ability to actually make a chef's smock, but I decided that the, uh, uh, lovely, uh, Institute lab coat looks kind of like a chef's smock. Yep. And, of course, he's wearing a chef's hat. But, uh, anyway, um, Chef Perry here is going to step out into the open and get shot by this raider that's hiding in this little shack up on top of that trailer. All right. Just to see how much damage that raider can do to me uh, with my current ballistic re resistance of 445. Okay. So and this is on survival go. difficulty. No, this is on very hard. Oh, okay, this one's on very hard. So... Okay. Waiting. One, two, three. Okay, so I just got shot three times. Yep. Okay. So we'll get back under cover here. And we'll have a look. And for some reason, I don't know why, but you can never have full hit points in this game. You always end up with one short. So I started off with 397. Mm -hmm. And those three shots took me down to 368. Yep. So 29 points of damage from uh, my unarmored, or, or basically without the potion, yep. um, type armor. So we're going to do a quick stim pack here. Okay. Right. I can't believe how fast stim packs work when you're not playing on survival. <laughs> I, I almost never play not on survival. So, um, but, but you're not thirsty either. Yeah. Well, Chef Perry, though, is basically here to demonstrate. Like he, I'm using him to test a yep. lot of the mods that I'm working on. And yep. Yep. Survival has a lot of rules and stuff in place that make it very difficult to do some of the things I need to do in order to test things. Yep. So, anyway, we're going to go and we're going to take our Potion of Armor now. And our Potion of Armor boosts our uh, Ballistic Resistance from 445 to 1445. Yep. But this doesn't reduce the damage as much Where as you would think. So we'll step back out here now and we'll let Mr. Raider here, wherever he is. There he is. Okay. Come on. He can't even... They, they, <laughs> they, they, they aren't very accurate. One... Two. One more. Come on. He's got to reload or something now. That's two two hits. Wow. Come on. You can do it. I'll just shoot that one. There. there. That's three. Wow. So, they're, they're terrible shots. You know, you'll wonder why sometimes when uh, you see people on Let's Plays playing and they can just stand there and exchange shots with raiders. It's because raiders are <laughs> crap marksmen, like really. So anyway, now you can see I went from 397 damage or health down to 380. Yep. Which is only 17 instead of, uh, what was it, 30... 32? 32 or something like that. So... Anyway, because of the way that the damage reduction formula, which is pretty complex math in this game, works, you have a diminishing return. Yeah. So 1,400 ballistic resistance looks like a lot, but you saw that from the same raider firing the same gun at about the same range, yep. that uh, your resistance, your, your damage was only reduced by approximately 50%. Yep. However... Uh, that 50% does kind of translate out so that almost regardless of how much damage a weapon does, uh, I mean, you do get diminishing returns after a certain uh, damage resistance level. Yeah, because it's non-linear. But the way that... The, oh, wow, somebody just snuck up on me and is shooting me there. Oh. Okay, boom. Uh, the way that the damage resistance um, formula works is it's designed so that even a, a super mutant with a pipe gun can still hurt you, even when you're high level, like level 40, level 50. Yep. And uh, you might be... Oh, I better switch guns here because this has got an explosive on it, and that would be bad. 
Oh, oh. But anyway, attack dogs do a lot of damage. And you'll notice that he did manage to do some damage to me, but that damage would have been considerably worse without the potion. Yep. And the potion has a duration of eight minutes. So eight playing time minutes, and then the potion will wear off. But anyway... So that's kind of, uh, I, I was kind of distracted here by being continuously attacked by these guys. But anyway, damaging, damage resistance gives diminishing returns. And so you're at around 1,000 damage resistance, you're going to get about a 50% damage reduction against most types of weapons, except yep. for the very weakest ones. So a pipe gun with a base damage of 13, um, I have According to the table, you'll get like a 80 or 85% damage reduction. But uh, a stronger weapon, like um, an assault rifle or, or a combat rifle or something like that, your damage resistance is more like about 50%. Yeah, it gets uh, less and less the more damage they do. Yeah, and it stays at about 50% as the damage levels go up. Um. You know, so so really, that's how uh, damage resistance works. I mean, you 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 equip a set of, uh, you know, like top tier X01 Mark III or whatever it is, power armor. You can get your damage resistance to top out at somewhat over two thousand. Yep. And what that does is basically it reduces your damage incoming by around forty or fifty percent against most of the more powerful weapons in the game. And uh, anything, more effective against weaker stuff, but uh, yeah, more effective against weaker weapons. But the way the formula works, that's why it can still hurt even to be shot by a super mutant with a pipe gun. Yep, because also that damage resistance, resistance table does not take into account any skill perks or other abilities that might also affect the damage of a weapon, such as the additional damage taken on survival. Yes. The additional damage taken on survival because uh, you get a incoming damage is multiplied I think by four times or something like that so anyway but it is still helpful and I wanted to uh, make uh, a bit of an alchemy um, thing so that you could do uh, potions that will protect you against things like ballistic damage energy damage fire frost um, you know, I'm working on a few grenade-type weapons as well for this mod, yep. which I will demonstrate later. Today, we're going to test the potion of protection from radiation. So, we're in an area where there's lots of uh, radioactive barrels, and we're going to walk Chef Perry right into the middle of that before taking the potion, just to see what the radiation damage tops out at. And it looks like, in right in here, just about right in this shipping container, the damage tops out at plus nine rads per second. So, get back out, out of range again. And now we'll go into Chef Perry's inventory. And we will down the Resist Radiation Potion which gives us 1,000 radiation resistance. Which seems like a lot, but it doesn't have as nearly a dramatic effect as you might think. But it still does reduce damage by a little over 50%. So we went from a top damage of plus 9 to a top damage of plus 4 while being protected by the potion of protection from radiation. So it's certainly not a proof against radiation, but it definitely does help. And this, by the way, is quite a high radiation area for anything outside of the glowing sea. I'm going to do another little demo on the mod Sandman's Alchemy. And I know mainly I've been uh, demoing these with Chef Perry, but unfortunately he does not have the perks necessary to make some of the things I want to demonstrate in this video. Namely, uh, grenade-type weapons. 
So alchemy, fire bomb, freeze bomb, nuclear bomb, plasma bomb, shock bomb. So these are things that you need high levels of uh, chemist and other perks, depending on what type of grenade you're making. And uh, these actually all behave just like uh, Molotov cocktails, basically. So it helps if you have a character who has the explosive perk to give you a throwing arc so you don't accidentally blow yourself up because these do not behave like grenades you can't bank them off walls and that kind of thing they uh, explode on contact just like a molotov cocktail does and uh, the first one is the alchemy fire bomb and uh, of course they are affected by your explosive perk as well so they will do more damage if you spend a few uh, perk points in explosive expert and that's why this one shows a fair amount of damage here, but it is a more, basically a more powerful um, Molotov cocktail. And it takes different uh, crafting items and more crafting items or, or components to make one. Anyway, when we uh, throw our alchemy firebomb, we get a throwing arc and we throw it. It looks very much like a uh, Molotov cocktail explosion, even with a little bit of lingering flame. So next, though, we will throw the freeze bomb. Whoops, just fell off the back of the thing here. That's okay. Maybe we'll go out here and throw the freeze bomb. And it looks kind of like a cryo grenade and has uh, a number of effects. Now we'll throw the shock bomb, which does shock damage, not, not energy damage, but shock damage. And next we'll throw the plasma bomb, which does energy and ballistic damage, just like a plasma grenade. And finally, the uh, most fun one, and uh, we'll have to watch out, I see some settlers there, but maybe we'll move over and make sure we don't have any accidents. And here we go, this is the nuclear alchemy bomb. So of course you don't want to be using these at short range, because their area of effect is pretty large and uh, some of them are extremely damaging, like our alchemy nuclear bomb, which potentially does, you know, something in the neighborhood of uh, 16 or 1700 points of damage uh, if you have the uh, sufficient perks. Uh, this character is very high level, so we have all four levels of demolition expert. And uh, in order to make these we have level four chemist we have level three nuclear physicist and we have level four science and it is a combination of those different perks that you need in order to be able to make a lot of these alchemy bombs which can be made on the uh, regular chem workstation bench just like the protective potions that uh, chef perry has been demonstrating 